Time to stop for a drink, yeah.
that leads to the exclusive area of the hotel. You should feel quite privileged that they will be allowing you in. listening what's on your mind your thoughts getting too damn old for all this running around that was all I had fine Let me just get the door for you. time the police sent someone out to investigate. We have many important residents and they are very worried. What happened? Who died? It's Mr. Parker, the primary owner and financier for the hotel. This is just a disaster. the crime scene again? Don't they realize that they're going to disturb the evidence? You'd better come with me. I detective. shall return to my workstation and allow you to take things from here.
there is more emotion in his death than well, most have had in their entire lives. How do you like to eat your kibble in here? Is dead, Mr. Avita. Have you no respect? I'm just saying that at least he had the decency to make a spectacle of it. There is nothing Please, worse if than I may, that's if what I this could is just have your attention. You're sick. I'm sorry for shouting. But the detective has arrived and shall begin the investigation henceforth. Please return to your rooms until the detective has examined the crime scene and had a chance to come speak with you. Have a look at the crime scene for clues. You're ready and we will discuss your findings. You are free to question the residents, but their safety is our priority. So unless you have solid evidence, I would avoid accusations. Is this... blood? Looks like the brain enclosure was... smashed. Guess someone else felt the same way about brains and machines as I do. That is to say, I ain't fond of the idea. Bingo. A baseball bat? <laughs> what is this doing here? Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? I found the murder weapon. Oh no. That's the bat from Mr. McKinney's movie. You don't think he could be involved, do you? I can't imagine him ever doing such a thing. Was there anything else? I'm not sure where I should start. I suppose you should try to figure out how he died. And then who had the means and motive to kill him. Once you have enough evidence, then I suppose you'll need to confront the killer. Was there anything else? Tell me about the victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. He had vast experience managing venture projects around the world. It was his idea to have our premier clients become investors in the vault section of the hotel. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. Was there anything else? Your residents are robots. Not robots, detective. Well, not exactly, anywhere. <laughs> I believe the term they use is Grobo Brain. Back before the war, the residents decided the best way to wait it out was to put their brains inside robotic chassis. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here, should you need me.
sealing yourself up in a steel hole to escape the bombs. Sounds like trading one kind of hell for another one. Protect and serve. Why are you doing it, Mom? He deserved better than that. You think I'm stupid? I saw the way he looked at you. You gonna tell me that's nothing? It wasn't like that. We were friends. He helped me out of a tight spot or two is all. I couldn't stand by like some pasty-faced Percy while he put the moves on my best girl. But now the law is on our tail. What are we going to do? Come away with me. Let's leave this dark hole of a city behind. We can be in Buenos Aires by tomorrow. Oh, I want to believe you, I do, but... Never let us go. Then we'll make our stand here. I... I've got a gun for each of us. No, 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 no. The line is... Then we'll make our stand here. Two lovers together with a bullet for each of them. Oh, God. Why can't I ever get that line? Forget it. I can't do this right now. Ugh, fine. I'm going to the beach. Hello, Detective. How can I help? Did you have questions about the case? I found your baseball bat at the crime scene. Care to explain how it got there? Someone is clearly trying to frame me for the murder. It's probably Santiago. You saw him skulking around the crime scene. What were you and Gilda talking about when I walked in? Hmm? Oh, we were just rehearsing a scene. Nothing to worry about. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? It's obviously Santiago. He keeps going back to look at the crime scene. Maybe later. Okay. Just let me know how I can help. Detective, I haven't seen someone with a body like that in far, far too long. You're not so bad yourself. You should have seen me before all this. Red hair that was the envy of every girl and legs for days, darling. I'm sure you'd rather hear some of my stories from the silver screen rather than talk about that nasty murder business. I must say... You're quite the actress. What can I say? It just comes naturally. Surely you must be here for my salacious stories of the silver screen. Have you ever done radio? Your voice is quite enchanting. Well, darling, play your cards right, and maybe I'll whisper some sweet nothings in your ear. Care to hear some of my stories, detective? I must say, I've known flesh-and-blood girls who aren't half the woman you are. Keep it up, Tiger, and we'll find out if you can handle how much woman I am. Surely you must be here for my salacious stories of the silver screen. Why don't we grab a bottle of wine and go watch the sunset? Mmm, sounds good, detective. Tell me something. Sure, darling. What did you need? I found Keith's baseball bat at the scene of the murder. Any thoughts on how it got there? I don't know, detective. I can't really imagine Keith killing Ezra. Did you need something else? What were you and Keith talking about when I came in? Oh, that? We were rehearsing! Gotta stay sharp if we're going to rebuild Hollywood. But Keith always gets flustered when he's upset. Did you need something else?
Tell me about yourself. My favorite subject. Simply put, darling, I'm the greatest actress in the world. When this international scuffle blows over, I shall return to the silver screen and lead the world to a new golden age of cinema. Did you need something else? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? Well, it is a bit strange how obsessed Santiago has been with the murder. I mean, he's always been a bit obsessive, though. He did a whole series of paintings of me, hundreds, said I was his muse. <laughs> it was flattering for a while, but the man is a bit much, even for me. Did you need something else? Maybe later. I'll be around, languishing from your inattention. Well, well, well. If it isn't the long arm of the law. Tell me, are you a devotee of the arts? Does that cruel muse call you to her entrapping bosom? Without it, we are no different than animals. Perhaps. If all we are is a sentience floating in a suit of flesh, or metal, I suppose, then art is the only true communion with the world. Come with me. Tell me, what does this piece say to you? It's about composition, the balance of colors and emotions, and the struggle to maintain internal order. Indeed. This was the last piece I did in a series of portraits of Gilda, number 1378. Her emotional landscape is superimposed on the portrait. 
The reality of the subject is distorted as the ego attempts to project itself. This way. Tell me, what does this one say to you? It's the war. Bombs from every direction, no up or down, the world turned on its head. I suppose in a way it must be. Art shapes the world, and the world shapes art in return. All art must therefore be constantly reborn through the lens of contextual and historic interpretation. It must ascend. It's a metaphor. A young creature grappling with ideas it doesn't possess the capability to understand. Intriguing. The mind will superimpose meaning where none was intended. I had not considered it. Truth be told, this is my best-selling piece. I did this series under a pseudonym, of course. This series has made more money than any of my serious works. And I take the whole thing as a lark. What does that tell you about the value of art to the common man, huh? Ah, my fellow connoisseur of the art. Here to see my latest work. Tell me about yourself. What is there to tell? I am one of the premier artists in the world. My work is primarily in oil paint. But I have been known to do sculpture or performance art as well. I think you should explain why you keep returning to the crime scene. It's for inspiration, detective. The others do not like to think about it, but even we shall die someday. Like Prometheus's torch, it kindles within me the fire to create as much art as I can with the time that I have. It sounds like you've done a lot of paintings of Gilda. Why her? Our Gilda is a very singular creature, detective. Do you not see this what de feel from within her? I have never met another who clings to life so tenaciously. Who lives so in the moment. I must admit I was quite smitten with her for a time. You're still in love with Gilda, aren't you? So what if I am? What business is it of yours? There's someone who truly understands her ephemeral beauty, not that broke actor. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. That Philistine would not know art from her own excrement. She and Ezra had a rather dramatic fight recently. You could hear her banshee screeches all the way across the hotel. What were Juliana and Ezra arguing about? I don't know. I was painting at the time and I was trying to block it out. Though I bet Gilda probably heard them. Maybe you should check with her. Maybe later. Good. I hope my paintings are able to open your mind to new possibilities. Look at this oh, mess. Probably something that got in when they sent Pearl out. Oh, God. Not this again. Last month you were convinced you had the measles. You're not a doctor. What would you even know about it? Besides, I think it may be malaria. 
First of all, I am a doctor. Yes, but not a real doctor. Robotics isn't an actual medical degree. Secondly, I've told you time and again, you can't get sick inside the suit. It's not physically possible. I know when I'm getting sick, Bert. Now, why don't you just wander off and play in your lab? Mr. Scruffy and I are going to rewrite the will, so he will get everything when I die because horrible Bert didn't believe me. Oh, God, Juliana. Have fun, Whatever. dear. I'm going to the lab. Hello, <laughs> baby. Did you need something? I heard that Juliana and Ezra had an argument a few days before he was found dead. Tell me about that. Well, I was in my lab at the time, so I didn't, think, didn't hear it. But Juliana has always been rather critical of Mr. Parker. I think she found something in the overseer's office. Uh, I wasn't listening when she told me about it. I, I kind of had my head in my research. I don't know, really. I try to let her handle all the money stuff. Oh, was there something else, the detective? Tell me about yourself. Oh, uh, well, I'm a scientist. Uh, you've probably met my wife, Juliana, already. Uh, not sure what else to say, really. Oh, was there something else, the detective? Tell me about your research. Well. I was one of the leads on the team that created the first robo-brains, the precursors uh, to our model. Uh, most people don't find it all that interesting, and I, I'd rather not bore you. Oh, was there something else, you detective? I'd like to hear more about your research. Oh, wonderful. Uh, no one else here really wants to talk about it. Functionally, this model is more or less the same as the previous versions I worked on, I've, but without the neural inhibitor and the reconditioning. The voice modulator uh, seems to have some minor issues interfacing with the neural matrix, uh, which can add some moodiness. Uh, but that's easily solved with regular tune-ups. Oh, was there something else, detective? Robo brains have a voice modulator. Tell me about that. That's what allows us to recreate our original voices. They can mimic any normal human voice, actually. I've speculated for some time that the issues we had with our uh, uh, recruited subjects uh, is due to the brain attempting to preserve a sense of self. Maintaining our original voices helps reinforce the neural network, uh, sort of like uh, playing music for an Alzheimer patient. Oh, was there something else, detective? I'd like to hear more about your research. I'm afraid that's really all I should say about it. I mean, it is still classified, but I wanted to help with the investigation. Oh, was there something else, detective? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? Oh, well, that's not really my field of expertise, but I'm sure there are probably some clues at the crime scene. Oh, was there something else, the detective? Maybe later. Very well, I'll just get back to my work then. I heard you had a big fight with Ezra a few days ago. Care to explain? Oh, well, it wasn't that big a deal, really. He wanted more money to pay for repairs on the hotel. I wasn't feeling well that day and lashed out a bit at the poor man. I really should have listened to him more. What's with all the junk in here? These are our things. We're just waiting till the war blows over so we can bring them back to the mansion. Tell me about yourself. I'm Juliana Riggs, heiress to the Riggs fortune and wife of Bert Riggs. I'm not sure what else you expected, Detective. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of those actors. Or that horrible painter. Their type is always the cause of violence. Maybe later. Good luck catching the murderer, Detective.
detective. beaches all over the island. Heard about the experiments they did in places like this. Human decency must have been in short supply back then. Noticed Juliana acting strangely lately? Oh, well, uh, I'm probably just being paranoid, but uh, she's been so much more pleasant lately. Uh, I mean, it's been nice, but also a bit unnerving. Most people don't really understand uh, us, uh, uh, but I always appreciated how she can just take charge of a situation. It's what allowed me to focus on my research. I, I'm worried something has happened to her. She doesn't seem like the same person. Oh, was there something else, Detective? What do you mean Juliana's not the same person? My wife has always been a very 
harsh woman, detective. I don't know who it is in our rooms, but that is not my wife, detective. Oh, was there something else, detective? I'd like to hear more about your research. Yeah, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Mm -hmm. Protect and serve. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here should you need me. Protect and serve. Well, this is where that bat came from. I had some questions to ask. Sure, darling. What did you need? Apparently, Juliana had a big argument with Ezra a few days before he died. Did you happen to overhear any of the conversation? Oh, yes. I haven't seen a woman go off like that since Teresa Dubois fired her costume designer. But to get back to your question... It was Fever Pitch, Detective. She had apparently gone to the Overseer's office to check on the state of things and found it in horrible disrepair. But, and this is where it gets interesting, it sounded like she found something that really set her off. Couldn't hear what, though. Did you need something else? I've gotten the impression you've had an affair with Santiago. Look, I love Keith, I do. But sometimes he just can't give me the attention I need. A girl gets lonely, detective. It only lasted a few dozen years. The man's a bit much, even for me. Did you need something else? Never mind. I'll be around, languishing from your inattention. Hello, detective. 
Detective, how can I help? Did you have questions about the case? Never mind. Okay, just let me know how I can help. to the Vault 118 gift shop. Forgot a personal item at home. Did you have any thoughts on the case? I'm afraid not, Detective. We're really at a loss, which is why I was sent to find you. Looking for a gift to bring back to that special someone? What have you got? Keepsakes, hunting equipment, and a variety of small personal items. Need to restock on hunting or fishing supplies? I've got a few minutes to browse. All of our items have that rustic main feel.
Yes. How'd anyone stay sane living in a place like this? Never mind. Good luck catching the murderer, detective. 